guest of NBC's Bring the Funny, comedian Amanda Seals. And from the upcoming Spider-Man Far From Home, KB Smooth. Oh. oh, what's going on, everybody? You having a good time? Yeah! No. You know what? Okay. Some of y'all are thinking out there, how are these two HBO stars on some of the best shows on TV, Kirby Enthusiasm and Insecure, going to present NBA Coach of the Year? I mean, they are great to look at <laughs> and all, but uh, what do they know about basketball? I mean, the truth is, me and JB are not <laughs> your casual NBA fans. In fact, we both played in the Celebrity All-Star Game in Charlotte this year and flat out killed. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Our knowledge runs deep. Our skills, your row step, are tight. And our agents know somebody in the league. It was a great game. It came down to the final second. The horn sounded. Me, me, me. And guess who team won? Bow, bow. Hello. Don't gloat. <laughs> the only reason a team with JB could be the team with me on it. <laughs> Better coaching. No shade, Sue. Ooh, um, that's cold, girl. <laughs> OK, I see you. I see so that's why we're here. Okay. Here's a look at the best <laughs> from the bench, the finalists for NBA Coach of the Year. He's what you're looking for in a coach today. Be the more aggressive team. We got to turn our defense out to another level. We can win this. Michael Malone. Steady incremental improvement. A great job building year after year. One of the best regular seasons in franchise history. 12 minutes. Leave it all out there. Mike Budenholzer has transformed this team. 60 wins, best record in the NBA. This is the best season they've had since the 1970s. Doc Rivers has done a masterful job with this team this year. He has turned this franchise around. Winning his coach in Clippers history. A season that exceeded expectations. So many guys deserve of that award. Woo! <sighs> Sizzling. What you got? I don't know, Playboy, let us know, let let's us go. know. No, come on, let's do this, come on. The 2019 Ooh. NBA Coach of the Year is... Mike Budenhauser! Milwaukee Bucks! Wow. Uh, coaches were a little screwed up, or maybe it's just me, but I was hoping Doc or Mike would win so I wouldn't have to come up here. Um, but I guess I got to give it a go. So I guess uh, I want to thank the writers, first of all, for uh, honoring me with this award. I've joked with a bunch of you I have to be the most boring uh, interview in the league, so thank you for not holding that against me. Um, and I just the coaches, um, obviously, uh, Doc Rivers and Mike Malone, I'm uh, incredibly special at their craft, yes. Uh, this year you guys took it to another level. Everybody watched, uh, everybody loved watching your teams play. The coaches throughout our league, uh, the knowledge and leadership on every sideline, it's unique and special. Uh, we all watch and steal from each other. It's, it's a great group. Uh, for my family, uh, I want to thank my kids, uh, my daughters, Libby and Hannah, uh, my sons, Will and John. Uh, you guys make me proud every day. You inspire me every day. And uh, as a coach and in life, I hope I do the same for you. Um, and my family, uh, for my mom and dad, Vince and Libby, uh, the mayor and the coach, as we know them in our family. Uh, I got lessons in leadership every day. Thank you. Uh, and my siblings. I'm the youngest of seven. Uh, they nurtured, they cared for me, they helped me chase my dreams. So thank you to my family. Uh, you know, in, in a, this, this award is about team and organization. And I'll say it, it starts at the top with our ownership. Uh, Wes Edens, Mark Lazary, Jamie Dynan, Mike Facitelli, along with all the local owners. 
uh, what you guys have done for Milwaukee, what you've done for me. Um, you can't get it done in the NBA without great ownership, and we have that in Milwaukee, so thank you. Uh, the front office and the business side in Milwaukee, uh, instantaneous partnership with uh, John Horst and Peter Fagan, the team, John, that you put together, unbelievable. Every night we walked out, we felt like we had a great chance. It's because of the job you did. So thank you. Thank your staff for everything you did. Um, my staff, uh, they do all the work. Uh, they make it happen. They're the reason that I'm up here. So thank you to Darvin Ham, Taylor Jenkins, uh, Charles Lee, Ben Sullivan, uh, Josh Longstaff, Ben Baker, uh, Patrick St. Andrews, Zach Peterson. Thank you guys. Uh, you're the reason I'm here. Lastly, most importantly, our players um, in Milwaukee. You guys are special. Um, to be here tonight with Giannis, um, our starting group, Bled, Malcolm, Chris, Giannis, Brooke. Uh, you know, what an incredible group of starters, everybody off the bench. From the start of the year to the end of the year, what you guys did uh, is amazing. Um, this league is about our players. This ward is about our team. So thank you. And just lastly, thank you to my roots. You know, I grew up in a small town, Holbrook, Arizona. Thank you to all those amazing coaches there, um, all the great players and coaches in Atlanta, all the great players and coaches in San Antonio. Uh, Tim Duncan and Greg Popovich, thank you for your greatness. None of this happens without you guys. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Hall of Famer Isaiah Thomas.